Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Before we start, you know, uh, this is what we will do with the chat because we receive a strike and YouTube did not explain even what we did in the chat. Uh, so what we will do, videos which we are not intended to keep in the channel because I'm trying now to not to delete everything and obviously the chat is a problem. So videos we are trying to keep, we will disable the chat. Videos which is not going to be kept anyway, like, you know, it's just a chat video, I'd say, or answering some questions. Those we will able the chat. However, I'm thinking to able uh, the chat in uh, uh, Paltalk program so people can call me instead of Skype and they can chat in the same time, even when we are disabling the chat, but not today. Maybe next time we will do that. However, this chat will be disabled right now because I'm intended to keep this video as an answer to stay in my channel. To avoid to give them any excuse to strike in us. And I hope you guys, you don't mind. Uh, always, you know, Muslims, they come to us with answers or questions. And today is no different. We have a lady, she is watching my videos for a long time. And I believe she is out of Islam already. She did not say that yet, but I can tell. She said, I have a question, CP. While reading the Bible, I came across a place that confused me. I put my question under the comment. And here is the question. If Jesus is part of Trinity, is also considered as God, how it is possible that he says in the Bible that he cannot do anything of himself? Only if God the Father allow him. You see, uh, 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 the theoria, uh, the Bible is not a sentence, the Bible is a book. And Muslims, when they try to refute me, they quote something I said, and they didn't they cut like few seconds before it and few seconds after it to make it look something different so in order to understand what jesus said what about we go and read the verses and then you will see that the whole question will disappear by just reading the rest of the verses you will notice that the question is not a question no more let us line what is the question then how is it possible? So we question the possibility of what? That he says in the Bible that he cannot, and we will put the line underneath of it, do anything of himself, but only if God, Father, allow him to do it. I don't see where it says that as you say it, but let us go, I think you're trying, as you understood it, let us go to the verses and see what the verses really said. And always I encourage Muslims not to read it from Muslim websites because Muslim website they fabricate and they lie even in what the verse is saying. This is the John chapter 5. And we can actually, it's not uh, long, you know, we can, uh, we can hear it. Let, let, us, let me hear it. Let us, let us play the audio will make it easier for people to follow. I will put in the screen again. Just give me a second. John 5. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, 
Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole, the same, said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed, and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus, and sought to slay him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Then answered Jesus, and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honour the Son, even as they honour the Father. He that honoureth not the Son honoureth not the Father which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good, unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Ye said unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say, that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape, and ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he hath sent, him ye believe not. Search the Scriptures. For in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honour from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honour one of another, and seek not the honour that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. 
For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? I mean to that. Now let us go and little study for what we heard uh, there. there I don't John know if, 6. If I'm saying your name correctly. You will notice that all the confusion about Jesus saying that I do nothing of my own is gone. Imagine there is a man, he come to you and he is doing things which nobody should do and nobody can do. And then he is going to introduce himself to you. So what he will say? Who are you? You are just a man. We see a man in front of us. So you will see that the Jews who they are listening to Jesus, he is saying to them that the man in front of you, you know, I mean, just a man, but the man, God who is inside that man, in this man, who is doing those things. Everything I do, the Father do too. If you go to the verse number 19, look what it says. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the father do. So he sees the father. And Jesus, he confirmed that he is the son of the father. For what things soever he doth, all uh, these all, uh, uh, also, like the things he does, the son does likewise. So Jesus, he just confirmed that everything the father can do, the son can do. So I explain to you how he can do nothing of himself as a man, but God in the man, the Son of God, is the one is doing the work, not the flesh of the man. This is why we Christians, we don't worship a flesh of Jesus. We worship Jesus God, not the flesh. The flesh is a flesh. Everything the Father can do, the Messiah he can do. And the Bible confirmed that everything created by him and for him, everything created by Jesus, he is the creator, by him and for him. And then he continues saying, for the father, he loved the son and he showed him all things that himself does. I'm using a simple English. He will show him a greater work than this. That is me marvel. So what you saw until now, nothing. I just told the man, go and walk. That's nothing. You will see way more amazing things. For as the father, he raised up the dead and quick, quick them, even the son, he do the same. He will. So he's explaining to them that my power is the power of God. It's not the power of a man. So if you are going to be amazed, about what I did, or questioning what I did, I do the same as my father. For everything I have is the same as my father have. So in order to connect the sentence, you have to put them all together, and you will see Jesus saying, whatever the father do, I do. He can raise people from death. I raise people from death too. And the father, he loved the son. The son is, a, you know, is something the Muslims, they deny always. They say, where Jesus says, I'm God, the father and the son. None of you, and later he says to them, none of you saw the, saw the father the way he is, supposedly. But Jesus, he did. Jesus is confirming that not only he is, he saw the father, but even the Father in me. Read carefully what he will say after. The Father judged no man. The judgment of all mankind is given to the Son. But we just heard him saying, I do nothing of my own. Why? Because this is, we believe in Trinity, in the Trinity, uh, 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 three persons of God in total agreement. There's no 
It's one God. So the Son will do the judgment. That's it. Who will do the judgment? The Son. Very clear, very simple. That man shall honor the Son, all men, which means you will be judged for not honoring Jesus. Even they honor the Father, as they honor the Father, which means you honor him equally. How you honor the Father? Our God? The same we honor Jesus. So you will see Jesus here is, is confirming over and over that he is he, the equality here. That's the same you honor God the Father, you have to honor me. So either Jesus here is saying false things, claiming to be God, it's obvious, or he's God. Otherwise, how we can honor a man the same we honor the Father? So what Muslims they do, they take a sentence from Jesus saying, the son he can do nothing of himself and they cut off the rest of the chapter, which all of it showing us who is Jesus. And now you need to ask yourself, why they do that? I mean, is it possible that the Muslim they saw this part of the Bible, they did not see the rest? Is it possible that they opened the page and it was only in that line and there is no other line in the page? Like an empty page only have one line in there? It's impossible. Why they cut this part off? And they stop here. What happened? Why all of this disappear? And only one word, two words, three words, five, six words? Six words left. Why six words left from the, the whole page? Because those six words, they, let us say, serve the purpose of the propaganda of Islam that Jesus is no one. And you will see here that Islam is an antichrist cult. Why? The Bible says it clearly that the same you honor the father is the same you honor the son. Islam does not honor the son and does not honor the father in the same time. Because you cannot honor the father without honoring the son. You have to insult, you know, if you, if you insult one, you insulted the other. All men, they should honor the father. The son, sorry. Even as they honor the father, not less. Even the father, he honor, uh, you know, I mean, how, how, how clear we can make it more than this? And how clear we can say that the Muslims obviously, and I'm not, I'm not talking about this girl, this girl, she is quoting what she heard from Muslims. Obviously, it's done in purpose to take all the chapter off, erase 99.9% .9 of the chapter and keep only one sentence, which is we see the son can do nothing of himself. So actually, the same chapter the Muslim they use to prove Jesus not to be God is the same chapter confirm Jesus as God. Every line in this chapter confirm that Jesus is God. Do you see anywhere where it says he's not? The judgment is given to the Son. Who is going to judge us? God. But did Jesus say it's him who will judge you? So what Jesus is saying, it's like, you know, you go to somewhere and you open the door, somebody knocking at your door and he said to you, uh, hey, I'm God. What? Are you a crazy person? You are just a man. So in order for me to believe this person who just looked like a man, 
And he's a man. Well, he have to do things and explain things. So Jesus, he do things, not only he explain things. So the Jews, they are questioning how he do that. As you see, the, the, the conversation started with a doing, a miracle, amazing miracle. And you will see the Jewish, not only they are questioning him because he did something in Saturday, which amazing miracle. They are questioning how he make himself equal to God. You know, when we say, uh, when somebody make himself, let us say somebody accuse me of making myself equal. And then I, I don't say, no, you, I did not say that. It's mean I agree. And not only I agree, I confirm. And this is what happened in the whole chapter. Jesus, he confirmed. Not only he agree, he confirmed that he made himself equal. He is equal for his God. So my advice to the Muhammadan, if you are reading, uh, if you are reading something in the Bible, don't read it from a website of Muhammadan. Go to the Bible, my friend. Why the Jews they want to kill him? Therefore, the Jews thought the more to kill him because he is not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God, which means each time Jesus says, my father, he is saying, I am God. And here you see the hypocrisy of the Mohammedan. And they say to you that Paul, he is the one who fabricated the Trinity. Those Jews, Paul is not one of them. And this is what they understood from Jesus saying what he said. This is why they wanted to kill him, for simply he made himself equal to God. And did Jesus after that say, no, don't, I did not? No. He confirmed to them that the man you see in front of you, yes, he is God. For everything you see is God work in this person. Isn't it Jesus who said that the one who saw me, he saw the Father? Isn't it, is it him who said, me and the Father is one? So why the Muslims, they see only a sentence out of book? And then they make a story about this, this sentence, and they forget the rest of the book. And not only that, they go farther and they say, you cannot find one verse in the Bible saying, Jesus said, I am God, worship me. When all the statement of Jesus saying, worship me. When you say you have to honor the son, which is me, the same as you honor the father. Is it, this is what worship is about? How you honor God? Huh? How a human being, he honor God. Muslims, they bow down, they wake up and they do abolition. To do what? To honor God. But remember, they say to us, nowhere Jesus said, I am God, worship me. You have to honor Jesus the same as you honor God the Father. Yet the liars, they say to us, nowhere Jesus said that he is God, worship him. Who is the blind here? You tell me. And this is in one chapter in the Bible confirmed Jesus as God. What about the rest? 
You see, what we did now is just one chapter confirm who is Jesus. Just one chapter. And the funny, the Muslims are the one quoting the chapter for us to prove that Jesus is not God. And by the way, I'm not against that girl. I sound she is a very nice person. And, you know, she sent me a lot of questions and I respect her. I have nothing against her, you know, but I'm warning the Muslims. There's many, many, you know, decent, beautiful people there following Islam because they are born of a Muslim family. They have no idea what this cult is about. And the questions you see, it's coming from them. It is that not their questions. It's just a question from the deceivers who lie to them, says, look what Jesus said. You need to ask yourself, did really the person who made the question, did he read the whole chapter and he noticed only this verse or this, the, the, the six words? How come he did not see the rest? Here we need to ask always ourselves. Uh, how a debate can be done between people who they are not honest. This is why I say you cannot debate a Muslim. Not because he is genius, not because uh, he is going to refute you. No, because decency is the, the, the spirit of, the, of, of debate. Decency. You tell me what you believe, I tell you what you believe, and you see exactly And what, when you make a question, you have to be decent in the question. Muhammadan who question Christianity, I'm not talking again against this girl, those who make argument against Christianity, trying to deceive the Muslims, they don't have the decency of quoting the Bible. They are quoting six words and they throw away the rest. Moses, he wrote about me. Abraham, he saw me. You know, when I see this uh, uh, sentence of Jesus, let us take it from the Bible. And we will put it for you in the screen. <clears throat> Jesus said to the Jews, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. Okay, hold on, I want to stop here. There is more than a billion Muslims, they attack Christianity every day. They saw that verse in this chapter here, that the son can do nothing of his own, but he did not see those. Your father Abraham, Jesus speaking to the Jews, rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it in the past tense. He saw it for sure. Abraham is not alive in the time of Jesus. You know, he's, he passed away. And he was glad, was glad. Then say to the Jews, the Jews, they said to him, this is what the Muslims they do today. What are you talking about? Abraham is dead. Hello. <laughs> like they, they said to him, then the Jews said to him, let me see if the whole uh, text is coming in the screen. Because, you know, YouTube shrink my screen somehow. Then the Jews they question Jesus. Remember, all of this happening because they are questioning how a man, he say what he's saying. Because they are not seeing God in front of them. They are seeing a man. So a man, then the Jews, they said to him, Thou art are not yet 50 years old. And then you claim that Abraham, he saw you? What are you talking about? And this is a very normal logic for anyone. If I am in the street and somebody says to me the same, I will say to him, what are you talking about? Are you claiming to be exist in the time of Abraham? Because what the Jews are questioning here, they are questioning the timing. 
how you can be how you can say that you were you know you were in the time of Abraham yet you are just 50 years old this is a very legitimate question Jesus said to them verily verily I say unto you before Abraham was I am wow yet they say to us where well, Jesus says I'm God so the existence of Jesus in the flesh today have nothing to do or in the time of when he came to the Jews have nothing to do with his existence as a Trinity because the Muslim they might ask you a question okay where was the Trinity before Jesus was born look like this Trinity was missing there was two only this is what they would say to you but you see the Bible is confirming everything the Bible is, you know, we, it's not like the Quran. The Quran is a, is, a, is, a, is a book written by a flight of thought person. If you read about Moses, you cannot find the story of Moses in one verse. You, will, you, have, you have to look all over the Quran. You have to be all over the place. And the reason for that, because the Quran is not a book of God. But if you want to read how God, he created things, you go to Genesis. You know where to find things in the Bible because this is not the same as the Quran. Quran is a, a mix, mix is messed up. So before Abraham, I was the Muslim. They would say to you, "Where Jesus says I'm God." So hold on, are you saying to me that you are denying the Quran of the pre-existence of Jesus? Because if we go in the Quran. I hope our internet is working good. If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, actually yellow pages are organized, Quran is not. So uh, <clears throat> let us put the Quran for you on the screen. Chapter 3, verse number 45, it says the following. And here the verse saying, an angel, they say to Mary. In different verse, it says a spirit came to Mary. Hmm. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, Allah gave thee glad tiding of the word, a word from him. His name and the Muslim here they add will be Christ in Arabic it doesn't say will be that's a lie in Arabic it says Ismuhu al -Masihu. his name is the Messiah which means he is exist before his birth change the translator this is Yusuf uh, this is Etani it has go to different one uh, which one we will go to now this is the audio we change the audio hold on change the translation uh let's get to hilali and khan muhammad hilali and khan hmm. here hilali and khan he became a philosopher and he had things is not in the quran look what he did this is why he put it between two bracket glad tidings of word and between to bracket B and he was <laughs> and that's to show you how stupid this statement is because if Allah he said be and he was that means Jesus at that moment was exist be and was he was and is that how Jesus was came to existence according to Islam no Allah he sent his spirit and his spirit breathed into Mary private part and this is how she carried a child. He did not say be. That's a stupid statement. But they are translating a verse from other a verse in the Quran where it says the similarity between Adam and Jesus is the same as Adam, Jesus, and you know, because Allah He said to him, be and he was. But if we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah neither created Adam or Jesus by saying be. And again, that is showing us that the one who wrote the Quran, he do not know what he's talking about. 
Look at this funny sentence or verse. And here you need to question the qualification of the brain who come with this. It's like a debate, you know. This is was written, by the way, because the Muhammad was answering the questions about Jesus. So he come with this, that the similarity between Jesus before Allah is the same as Adam. He created him from dust and he said to him, be, and he was. But what, what do you mean he created him from dust and he said to him, be? You just contradicted yourself. Because if you created him from dust and you said to him, be, and he was, that's mean the rest of the Quran is a fabrication. Let us go to other verses of the Quran. If you go here with me, uh, let us see. Read and laugh. And the Lord, he said to the angels, I am about to create a man of a clay. I am about. Okay. When I have fashioned him and breathed into him of my spirit, then they bow down to him. Where is B? Is that how B work? So look what happened now. The other verse says, Allah, he created Adam from a clay. From dust, sorry. To rob. And then he said to him, be, and he was. And this is supposedly how he created Jesus, but this is stupid to say because you see, we can say like every human being is dust to dust, right? But we are not really created directly from dust like Adam. Adam and Eve only are the first creation of God. Then after that is reproduction. So when Allah, he said that he created him from dust and then he said to him, be, well, that contradict the story totally in the other verse where he said, when I have fashioned him, fashioned what? The mud. So look what happened. He brought dust. He mixed it with water. He fashioned it. If somebody will say to me, where is the word mud? Let us show it to you. Because a Muslim, he might say to you, it doesn't say the word mud there. Where you come with this from? Hmm? You are making things up. You see it? All those verses. All those verses saying the same. 6, 2, 7, 12, uh, 23, 12, uh, uh, 32, 7, 37, 1, 38, 1, uh, 71, 38, 76, and uh, 51, 33. And actually, I believe there's more, but this search engine here is stupid. So actually, uh, 50, the last one is not part of it. The 51. So Allah, he created Adam from mud. And what is mud? Mud is a mix of dust and water. Clay. So if we put those verses next to each other, one is saying to us that Allah, he created Adam from dust. And this is a chapter three, verse number 59. 
and there's more but one is enough to prove the point and one is saying chapter 32 verse number seven Allah created the man from a clay so we have dust and now the dust became a clay wonderful and then Allah fashioned the clay chapter 38 verse number 72 and after he fashioned him still he's not done he blew a spirit on him so how this verse can be accurate he said to him be and he was not a single thing in the Quran or in Islamic religion created by saying be Allah took him many days to finish the earth and the heaven you see uh, if you go in the Bible you will see that God said let be light and light was and you will notice here the treatment of light is different from the treatment of other creation for light is very unique let be light and light was did Allah created light by saying let be light no took him two days to create what provide light if you remember once the that was debating a Christian priest or something like that and he made fun of the Bible saying huh in your book it says that God he created the Sun in like what third for day so the whole earth was without light you idiot you will see in the beginning it says so God created light he said let be light however you will see that Muhammad is saying exactly quoting the book of Genesis and because the dad is an idiot he do not know what he's talking about and the Muslim they think he's a scholar he made fun of his, his prophet actually this is what they do all, they do all of them <clears throat> How Allah He created the earth and the heaven. How Allah created Adam. Let us see one by one. The Messenger of Allah, He said, Who? Messenger of Allah, not Christian Prince. Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday. He created the mountains on Sunday. He created the trees on Monday. He created things in Thailand labor on Tuesday. He created the light in Wednesday. This is exactly what the that was making fun of. He said this is the most stupid thing ever. And this is how the Muslim they insult their religion and they expose their prophet. And yet the Muslims, they think that those people are scholars when they are nothing but a bunch of idiots. So you will see here, is different approach of God. This God, who his name is Allah, trying to copy stories from the Christians and the Jews. And by playing with them, it's messed up. So now you ask yourself, how Allah created Adam. Did he created Adam really by saying be or in the stage appear in the Quran? Remember the Quran says, if this is a book other than Allah, made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. And the Muslims in order to fabricate something, they have to add bracket and put it in the Quran and ask yourself why they are adding bracket. Is the Quran a clear book or is it a clear? It's not. And how in the world it says that Allah said to him be and he was? Because if Allah said to Jesus, be, there's no need for Mary. Who need Mary anymore? Jesus exists already. Who need a woman, her name is Mary, if Allah, he said to Jesus, be, and he was, just send the man in the, in, in the, in the, in the ground. He is there. But you will notice even the liar who tried to mislead in the translation, it says, a word from him 
From who? From Allah. If you go to different verse in the Quran, you will notice this. <clears throat> Which exposing the same translator, I'm not going to use different translator now. All people of the scriptures, I don't know if this is the same, let us see. Ah, this is Hilali and Khan, all right? All people of the scriptures, between two bracket, Jews and Christians, don't exceed in the limit of your religion, nor say Allah but the truth. The Messiah, Isa, between two bracket, Jesus. Nowhere, by the way, nowhere the Quran mentioned the true name of Jesus, Yeshua. Son of Maryam, question why he is son of Maryam, if he is a son of dust. If he is the same as Adam, he said to him, be and he was. Either he is a son of dust like Adam, or he is a son of Maryam. You cannot be both. Unless you want to say metaphorically. But as you see, you will see in a second that Jesus is from above. He is not from dust. Read carefully. And then he says he was, and between two brackets, no more than, which is not really in the Quran. Eh, they put it in two brackets. A messenger from Allah and his word. And then he put between two brackets, be and was. Hold on. So Jesus is the word be? <laughs> Nowhere the Quran say that Jesus is the word be. So this is they have to insert. If you change the translator, look what will happen. A magical transformation of the verses will happen from be to something else. Read carefully. I mean, we are reading the same book, the same verse, different translator. What happened? It's, it's a new Quran. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion, nor say the truth uh, 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 of the truth uh, uh, but Allah, but, but the truth, sorry. Christ Jesus as a son of Mary was no, between two brackets again, no more than a messenger of Allah. And his word bestowed on Mary. What happened to be and was and because the Arabic it says Al-Qaha, al -qaha, which means he sent down to Mary. He sent down. You see, if you say be and he was, they do not need to send anything down. You send what? He sent the word. And he is a spirit proceeding from him. Jesus is a continuous spirit from him. Is Adam continuous spirit from him? No. Is the spirit of Jesus is from the spirit of our father Adam? No. Is he from the spirit of Mary? No. Because Mary is descendant of a mankind, so she is going to carry the same spirit of Adam. You know, we are flesh from a flesh. Adam and Eve. God, he gave them opportunity to reproduce. And reproducing make us have a soul, have a flesh, the same as they do. Regardless of our color, all of us, we are one family, black, white, Asian, we are children of God. So we are a reproduction of the flesh of Adam and Eve. Jesus is not. And the Muslim cannot explain to us why Jesus have no father? And look what they will say. They will say he is the same as Adam. Adam have no father. How silly, how stupid to say that because Adam was not born. The question is, why only Jesus have no father? If you want to say to me that God is trying to create, to make a miracle. I mean, this is a very silly miracle. Why? Because there's no proof. I can say, my mother, she gave birth to me with no man. You see, the purpose of a miracle is to prove something and that to prove the power of God. And people have to see it. If this is just a purpose, a miracle. I mean, Jesus, he made the blind see so people can see and the blind can see. Jesus made the man walk so people can see and the man can see. He did not need to see it. Now, Jesus as the son of Mary have no father. For what reason? They cannot explain that. The only answer can you find is in Christianity. For Jesus is the son of no man, even though he called himself the son of man because in the flesh, but he, literally, he is a son of no man. 
Actually, if you remember, there's a verse in the New Testament. <clears throat> Uh, Jesus he asked what do you think about Christ he asked the Jews they said he is a son of David he is what he is a son of David okay then Jesus said to them well, if he is the son of David, then how then David call him my God? How David he call him such a name, such a title? There is many verses we can show. But let me see. We will put the screen back for you. Give me a second. <clears throat> and go to Matthew. I hope my internet is still working fine. It's working good in the last few days. So we are happy for that. And again, for those who they are missing the chat, we will activate the chat when we are not going to keep the video. A video I'm going to keep on my channel. I will uh, uh, disable the chat so uh, YouTube will not have an excuse for taking our video down. When Jesus came to the Jews and he asked them questions and the questions is very serious who you say I am That is a question the Muslims are deceived by Muhammad. And this is the whole purpose of Islam, is not to know who is Jesus. So if today Jesus come to the Muslim and he said to them, whom say ye that I am? They will say a messenger of Allah. Huh? He's a messenger of Allah. What is the proof? There's a guy, his name is Muhammad. He came 600 years after you and he told us all things about you. And then we say to them, why you don't accept the book of John? Why you don't accept the book of Luke? Why you don't accept the book of, of Mark? They will say to you, those books written like 60, 70 years after Jesus. 60 years after Jesus is a problem for Muhammad and 700 years after Jesus is not. Do you see the hypocrisy? If you go to Matthew chapter 22, when Jesus said, and he made an amazing, you know, declaration about himself, saying clearly that he is the living God. I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of David. I am the one David called him my Lord. 
then how Muslims they can deny and say we never saw in the Bible where Jesus says I'm God secondly why Muslims never question the qualification you see when we say somebody is God I can claim to be God you can claim to be God anyone can claim to be God but can Allah claim to be God no he cannot why because he don't have the qualification of God and if I use my own qualification the Muslim they will say uh, who who are you I will use the qualification which Allah he put to himself who we should worship according to the Quran somebody can create a fly a fly I mean it's not like creating a, a fly if you can create a fly you can worship that person chapter 22 verse number 73 so Muhammad in the Arab you are worshiping those gods but yet they cannot create even a fly oh man here is a parable set forth listen to it those whom beside Allah you call remember they worship Allah too not they are not worshiping not Allah they are worshiping Allah you call cannot create even a fly hold on if Jesus come and Muhammad was there and Jesus says I am God worship me as he said many verses in the in the Bible Can Muhammad he quote for him that verse? That you cannot create a fly? Chapter 3, verse number 49. Confirm that Jesus created birds. As you know, as an example of his creation. Chapter 5, verse 110, confirm that the same. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, by the permission of Allah. But so, but you just told me now that Allah, he give a permission that there is another creator beside him. Then this verse is about what? About you cannot create a fly. What is your logic? You just told us the one who cannot create a fly, he should not be worshipped. And then you say to us that Jesus, he created the birds and God knows what else. Because the one who can fashion from a mud, the bird, he can create a man too. He, all what he need, fashion a man and create a man. And if you say to me by his permission or not, that is funny excuse. Because first of all, there's no proof of the claim of a permission. I can say now. Jesus, he made the blind see. I gave him permission. Do I have a proof? People will laugh at me. So when the Quran says that Jesus, he can create from the mud a creature, you just made equal to God the creator. Because now we have confirmation in the Quran that Jesus he is a creator can Muhammad create from the mother bird no Musa no Abraham no so why only Jesus and here you will hear the most observed uh, stupid answer ever Muslim will give it to you or, uh, uh, for this uh, issue they will say in the time of Jesus there was a lot of scientists oh no, let us call Zach and I if we are Zach and I Hey, Zachary, why Jesus was giving all those miracles? Zachary, because he's a doctor, he will say to you, but then sister, in the time of Jesus, there was a lot of science, and science was very advanced. And because it's very advanced, so Allah gave an advanced miracle about science, about medical, and this is very simple reason. I mean, look at this crazy answer. What medical science? What are you talking about? In the year 2020, people are dying and science is doing nothing. And do you see Jesus in those miracles giving medicine? Like did Jesus say to that guy who is a blind, open your eyes 
I will take those drops uh, three days a day, uh, 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 you know, three times a day. After 40 days, you will be fine. No. Did you see Jesus giving medicine to the guy who cannot walk? No. Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus, not the opposite. So where, where, where how, how the medicine is advanced 600 years before and it's not after? It's like saying to me that medicine was in the 17th century, was way advanced than now. People will laugh at you. But because they cannot explain why their false prophet have zero miracles and why Jesus being given things have to do only with God, starting with the creation. And not only that, he can tell you what you hide in your houses. And do you know what does that mean? The Muslim believe only God knows the unseen. When they ask Muhammad about the unseen, <coughs> We drink some water. When they asked Muhammad about the unseen, he said, I know nothing of it. Don't ask me. Ask me nothing about it. The Quran <clears throat> confirm all over that Muhammad is zero in knowledge. Look what Muhammad he said. So Muhammad is speaking to his followers. He said to them, say, I tell you, not that with me are the treasure of Allah, nor do I know what is hiding. Okay, hold on. So why Jesus, he knew the unseen? What is the purpose? Any Muslim knows? Why Muhammad? The Muslim, they say that Allah favor Muhammad in everything. I mean, name for me one thing. We have a person he can create from the mud, the bird. We have a person he can heal anyone he can make the blind see we have a person he can quick people from the death and he even can tell you what you hide in your houses what you eat which means he can read your mind he have knowledge of the unseen something you did in your house how i will know about it the muslim they will say to you allah he gave him the permission that's that 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 is the point if allah gave him the permission why he did not give it to muhammad Actually, Muhammad, he make himself equal to a blind. <laughs> he's, he's just saying, I'm blind. While the Quran saying in the other verses that Jesus, he healed the blind. Muhammad saying to them, I am a blind. Ask me nothing. Read carefully. So I tell you not that with me, the treasure of Allah, nor I do know what is hiding, nor I do tell you I am an angel. Uh, I but follow that what is revealed to me. Say, can the blind be held equal to the, to the seeing? Will you reconsider it? Consider not? I'm asking you, Muslim, the same question. Can you consider this sentence with this sentence? While Muhammad saying, I'm blind. While Jesus saying, I can tell you what you hide in your houses. And if you say to me, Allah, he gave him permission, that will make it even more worse. That's mean Allah, he favored Jesus highly, and he put down Muhammad very bad. Yet you Muslims, you claim that he is the most favorite person to Allah. That is a contradiction. He favored him in what? If you read Muslim books, you will see he has been favored by the ability of having sex. And even this one is a lie. If you go to the hadith, you will find that Muhammad, he is in this ability for sex. Actually, the ban, he is, I don't think he can have sex at all.
Muhammad he used to go out and he said to people I use I had sex with my wives and later when the people ask him as the wives the prophet he is bragging about how good he is in bed the wife they said no he did not have sex he did not even touch us and here that will take us to different topic I don't want to go there but we can give you a hint the prophet continue for such a such period of time imagine that he had slept had sexual intercourse with his wife or his wives in fact he did not if you stop here for a second you will notice that even even that about Muhammad is not true even this person even his sex is fiction I mean who is the one is witnessing this first first person first witness excuse my like English is not good should we maybe say first hand witness the prophet who said that Aisha who is Aisha the woman she sleep with him in the bed this is not the neighbor, this is not the neighbor of the neighbor of the neighbor, the cousin of the cousin. This is the wife who is the favorite wife for Muhammad because she is very young. She is a child. So the prophet continue for such and such period. Continue. Imagining that he had sex, but in fact he did not. The Muslim, they say he was under black magic. And this is what the, the, the story here says. Well, look how Allah favored Muhammad. He put him under black magic. <laughs> <laughs> and this person is what they call it hallucinating I'm not sure how to say the word excuse me you can make fun of my English no problem so this person is delusional to the point even his sex is fiction so what about seeing angels so while Jesus was busy making the blind see quicking the dead from the grave making the one who cannot walk walk healing all kinds of diseases and telling you even what you ate in your home which means he can report to you your sin Muhammad was saying oh hold on I am a blind I know nothing ask me no question chapter 6 verse number 50 while Jesus was challenging them in person saying to them I can tell you even what you did at home Muhammad was challenging them, saying, I challenge you not to ask me. While Jesus saying to them, prove me wrong. Ask me. Ask me what you did at home. Ask me what you did behind the curtain. Ask me what you did maybe be, be behind the seven seas. Doesn't matter where you are. I will tell you, I will declare to you what you ate and what you did. And what you stored in your houses. What you store where? And you so what if the person he live in America and Jesus is in Jerusalem? Jesus will tell you what you store in your houses. That is the confirmation made by the book, it's called the Quran. And that is the confirmation made by the Quran about Muhammad too. That he's a blind, he do not know what is hiding, he have no miracles. A Muslim, he might say to her, do you know he have miracles? Let me get you busted. <coughs> the Quran say clearly that Allah refrain from sending signs to Muhammad. Refrain. And we refrain from sending signs. If you don't like this translation, we can change it for you. I don't know, translation for this is Yusuf Ali. Refrain from sending sign. Why? Because only former generation treat them as false. That is a false argument. Because here we go, not only former generation believe in the miracle of Jesus, the miracles of Moses, the miracle of the prophet, even generation until today, 2020, they believe in the miracles and they don't deny them. So Muhammad, he cannot bring a miracle. And the excuse is, well, if I give you a miracle, you will not accept it anyway. <laughs> you will see the Arab, they keep asking him. 
Why though you cannot bring us one miracle? Just one, what's wrong with you? Can't you give us one miracle? Why Allah don't talk to us or why he don't give us a sign? What he answered, he said, oh, people before you, they ask the same question. <coughs> what is the sign? He said, oh, we, we indeed, we made the clear signs. Where are they? And this is all over the Quran. In chapter 2, verse 145, he said to them, to the Christian and the Jews, <coughs> even though if you bring them all signs, sign here mean miracles, <coughs> they will not follow you. What about give them one and let us see if they will or not? <laughs> Even if you give them all, give them one sign, forget. I mean, why Muhammad? Look like our internet is not doing good now. I hope we will not lose it. So anyway, I don't want to make it longer than this. So I hope I answer your question, lady. As you see, Islam is a messed up cult. Allah cannot be God for many reasons. Does God, you do not know how the baby is made. Actually, I'm going to make a video there's a Muslim, he posted a comment about how to know Allah. So if my voice is good, I will go back online again later. If my voice, as you see, my, my throat is dry. If my voice is not good, maybe tomorrow. We will see. Uh, this person, he says, sign and uh, uh, science and sign in the Quran. I mean, this is the most hilarious claim the Muslims they have. I never saw a false fiction, uh, uh, like crazy sign of science more than the Quran. Indeed, in the creation of the heaven and the earth, the alternative, the, so the, the, the alternation of the night and the day are sign of those understanding hmm, how, this, uh, how the day and the night work. You go and you read in the Quran, you will find that Allah, how he make the day and the night and you will die laughing. We will leave that for later so we can keep this video shorter as much. I, I try my best to make my video shorter, but you know, I like I said to myself now, as long as the chat is, uh, is disabled, I will be able to control it and make it shorter because no more questions coming. But look like mission is impossible. Feel free to download the video. This video we will keep it because we want to see YouTube is taking our videos for what reason? Down. Chat, we disable the chat. What is the excuse? And if we want to enable the chat, we are going to use different program like Palto, so people can still call us and uh, like uh, share in the program. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And as you see, the Lord, the Messiah, even in the book of the cult of Muhammad. He is not a blind like Jesus. Uh, 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 like Jesus said, uh, uh, the blind is the one, I don't know how to put the phrase together. Like the Muslim, they try to make Jesus for us, a blind man, who can see because Allah make him see. He is a disabled man, but he can do miracles because Allah make him do miracles. He is no one, but he can re resurrect people from the death for Allah made him able to do all of those things. But that will make Jesus carrying all the ability of God Yet he is disabled, he is blind, he is no one, he is, uh, he is nothing, he is just a man. In the same time, Muhammad, who is the favorite for Allah, 
He say, I am a blind. <laughs> Is the blind equal to the one who can see? Muhammad witnessing to himself his situation. So the Muslim, they try to make Jesus a blind. Disable. He's no one. Yet he is the one who made the blind see. He is the one who can make you see what is hiding in your house, what you store in your house. He can quicken the dead from the death. He can make what nobody can do. And yet Muhammad is the one who is favored by God and he is the powerful prophet. And he is the last one. And that would make it a more stupid too because later they will say to us, Jesus is coming back. So Muhammad is the last prophet, but Jesus is coming back. Have you ever heard of a hilarious story like this before? So be aware of the Muslim presentation of Jesus because they present him to you as a blind man. He see nothing, he know nothing, he do nothing. Yet the Quran says he see everything, he do everything, he know of everything. So there's two versions of Jesus one in the Quran saying that Jesus, he can see what nobody can see. And Muslims, they say, Jesus say nothing, know nothing, do nothing. The Quran says, no, Jesus can do all kinds of signs. He can do the following. He can create, he is a creator. You say by permission, the answer is very simple. By permission or not, he is a creator. There's no proof of the permission thing that Allah, he, perm he permitted him. It's a claim. There's no proof of it. I can claim that too. But what is confirmed in your book now, that Jesus, he is a creator. You cannot take that description from him anymore. He created. Jesus, he is the person who knows the unseen. He is not a blind as your prophet. Even though the Muslim, they say to us, Jesus, the blind. Because this is what they're what trying to say to you. Jesus knows nothing. He's just a, a prophet of Allah. Why, why Jesus, the prophet of Allah, he needs to know what you have in your houses? What is the purpose? Isn't it enough? And this is a question we need to ask ourselves. Isn't it enough that Jesus do one of those miracles we see in front of us? Look how long the list. Isn't it enough that Jesus, he can make the blind see? One of them. How many in this world they can say to a person, see and he see? Isn't it enough to prove that he is a prophet of God, messenger of God? Isn't it enough that Jesus, he can make you healed from leprosy? Isn't it enough that Jesus, he can make you come from the death? Why Jesus need more? To the point he can tell you what you eat and what you, what you ate and what you store in your houses. Which means he have knowledge of no one knowledge. Except the one who did the act. What is left of Jesus to keep him as a man, not as a God? What is the qualification of God is left out of this verse. And the same question we can ask to Allah, the God of the Muslims. Can Allah quicken the death, the dead? The Muslim, they will say, yes, show us. Muhammad have no proof. Can Allah make the blind see? The Muslim, they will say, yes, show us. Can Allah heal the leper? They will say, yes, we say, show us. I mean, how simple it is. So Islam is an empty cult. But this empty cult, even though it's meant to erase the name of Christ from this earth, by mistake, the devil, he confirmed the identity of Christ, that he is God and he is saying to us, worship me. If you are a Muslim and you are reading this verse and you see that Jesus can raise people from death, Jesus can tell you what you ha what you hide in your houses. Jesus can heal you from blindness. He can heal you from any kind of illness. 
what is left of the quality of God to Allah? Did Allah give all his equality to Jesus and he is sitting home now? Jesus the man, yet he is Jesus the one who resurrect. Yet he is Jesus the one who can tell you what you hide. Yet he is Jesus the one who can heal you from any disease. Yet he is the one who can make you see even if you are born blind. Who is just Jesus? This is a question Muslims cannot answer, except by fabrication and going around the point. So what we understand from the Quran and from the Bible, that Jesus have the authority, and that authority is authority of God. This is why the Jews, they came to him, as we saw in the Bible, and they wanted to kill him because he made himself equal to God. Why and how? Because he have the quality of God. He said, I do the same as my father. My work is the same as the work of my father. Whatever my father do, I do. And the Quran confirmed to us that Jesus, he do the work of the father. He is the resurrector. He is the healer. He is the savior. He is the one who can tell you your sin, what you hide, what you do and behind the curtain. He can do, heal you from blindness. He can make you see. He is the one who can do what no one can do. And here you notice in verse number 22, it says that judgment is given to the son. And then we find Muhammad saying that Jesus will come down to this earth as a just judge. Can you believe it? Even that in the cult of Islam is given to Jesus. What is left? You tell me. Leave your comment in the comment section and until we see you soon again, we will keep this video in the, cha in the, in the channel. Uh, give our video a like if you like it. Do give it this a like if you are a Muslim for sure. We appreciate the Muslim support by giving this like. <laughs> and we don't care really. Well, you know, the truth will set you free. And that is Jesus. He is the truth. He is the truth. Not a person who says stupid things claiming to be a prophet. Not a God who did not know which one he created first. In one verse he says that the stars at the end, in the other chapter he says the star, stars was in the beginning. In one verse he says that the, the human being is coming from a, 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 a the, the sperm is coming from a backbone uh, and the woman she have a sperm coming from the ribs. Uh, uh, other verse says where the sun set was set in murky water and he found where the sun set and where people next to it and where the sun rise. A God who think earth have edges. The God who think there is two east and two west. The God who say the most silly stupid things yet he claimed to be God. I'm not a fool. Are you? Thank you very much for watching. May the Lord bless you all. You can feel free and subscribe to our Patreon if you like to be updated about our videos. And we will be happy to have you always. God bless. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And thank you very much.